the shattered man. Oh man, look at Oh yeah, his heart broke. <laughs> oh <laughs> Beverly <laughs> I don't know. Deborah. He's been shattered. <laughs> Come back to me, Janice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a changed shattered man. Ah, uh, hello everyone! Welcome back to Earthbound here on Nintendorama. Uh, I'm Taylor, and my guest with me, of course, it's Matt! The indubitable Matt Powers! <laughs> indubitable! Um, and, uh, we're here in Summers, and we have, we have Poo! It's, we have Brian, is, a, is his name, in this playthrough. Um, he's with us, so we've got the whole crew here, it's very exciting. And, uh, we need to go to the museum. Um, to learn more about the pyramid because we were told hey go to the pyramid Three dollars per person um, And the guy in the back high. <laughs> The guy in the back room was like I like rubies. I like jewelry uh, So now I have a tiny ruby. I'm gonna give it to him. You know let me in the back huh. I'm gonna give it to him <laughs> This room is being remodeled. This room is being remodeled. Oh, <laughs> so we just both did the same. Go for it. So I can't show it to you. Oh, the samurai kid is here. Will he be giving me that gem? Hmm. Oh, you're such a good samurai student. Samurai kid? <laughs> I'm impressed by your passion for learning. Come on in. Look, just because I have... I thought he was a ninja. Yeah, or like or a, a monk, monk. yeah. Uh, I don't know. Samurai. Excellent. Do you feel like you're really experiencing this great historical period? The experience is more valuable than a small gem. <laughs> the other day, a rich kid came to Summers by helicopter. He also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. I got lots of money from him. <laughs> oh. Hey, look out for those guys. They're going to... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Shattered Man. Oh, man, look at... Oh, he had his heart broken. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Deborah. He's been shattered. <laughs> Come back to me, Janice. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a changed shattered man. I'm a changed shattered man. Oh, there goes my teddy bear. <laughs> there goes my baby. My oh. teddy bear. A mommy rap. Ooh. Well, yeah, Brian Everybody needs to. Yeah, come on, Brian. Get those levels, baby. We're, we're going to be doing this for a little bit. There we go. <laughs> and... 27 minutes later. <laughs> okay, I want to. Let's, let's do this. Let's use this stag beetle on him. And then. Brian doesn't have a good attack. He's just he's but he's got great pee, pee stuff. So um let's not life up. Let's do freeze on this fool. There we go. Dang! Man, you know, he is just like three days away from retirement. <laughs> you could Okay, there we go. Okay, um, let's let's do this. Man, there's so many people now. It's like I gotta keep track of what's going on. Okay, let's let's yeah. check this out. Brian read the hieroglyphs. To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. However, what? our efforts were futile and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid was protected by the gods of Skaraba. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their evil stronghold. 
A place out of time is beyond the dark and is even farther beyond the lost underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded. It is without light. Only one with the hawk eye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches over everything. The Avengers? Waiting, <laughs> waiting, Sphinx! <laughs> waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. Uh, four, three, two, five. Okay, I think I remember that, so it's... One, two, three, four, four three, two, five. Yeah, it's like a star, basically. So there's a, there's a, we'll wow. see some buttons later, and they're in that pattern, and we need to boop, 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 boop. buttons dance in front of the Sphinx. Dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> Light bulb. Taylor, let's go to Scaraba. The pyramid is the key. <laughs> I know, like I know, I know the guy, like the people walk, but this guy, he's getting down. Like he's like. <laughs> It's like Cartman dancing on <laughs> South Park getting down. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hey, ah. wait one second. Here's a picture of the hieroglyphs, and just for you. It's a reward for studying so hard. Great. Use it in your human civilization class. <laughs> cool. Now give us back the ruby, or we go to the cops and tell the cops that you molested us. <laughs> Uh, okay. 100% what I'd do if I was a kid on an adventure. <laughs> okay, so we need to go... Oh, there's a phone. Hello? Oh, you'd be this guy. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. Hello? Is this Mr. Fork of the Scarabula Cultural Museum? It doesn't sound like you. Well, I'll quickly tell you my story, because I'm busy, busy, busy. I found something so extraordinary that mere words could not do it justice. What do you mean? Who am I? <laughs> Don't you recognize my voice? How could I forget? It's me, Mr. Spoon, <laughs> from the Foresight Museum of Natural History. That's what Mr. Spoon would sound like. Look, Mr. Fork, I'm not exaggerating this vibe. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's outrageous. Pick a pee. <laughs> That's my favorite running bit from this thing. That like, <laughs> that everyone who calls always says "click beep" instead of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> instead of yeah. it, it making the noise. Okay, so to four side. Here we go. Oh wait, where's? Oh, it's winters. Wait, no, we have to go to Scaraba, don't we? Uh, yeah, but I gotta. Uh, I want to go see what this this find is at the museum. Oh, okay. And I don't know how to get to Scaraba yeah. yet. I think I know. I think I take a boat ride there. So one of the people from Summers. But let's go to let's go. Let's go down here. Oh, butterfly! Come here! Come here! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Relax. Okay. Here we go. Get in there. Alright, Mr. Spoon. Do I have to pay you too? Hey, yo, over there. Get over here. Mission fee is $5. Wow, jeez. It's more expensive than the Summers Museum. Yeah, he knows. I like the dinosaur. There he is. I like the dinosaur, too. <laughs> this is Mr. Spoon. Mr. Spoon. You want to know about something extraordinary? Dot, dot, <laughs> dot, dot, a period. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a new singer named Venus at the Topola Theater. Bring her me her. Can you bring me her autograph on an eraser? <laughs> 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 then I'll show you something extra ordinary. A period. Oh, if you can get her autograph on anything, don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph <laughs> is written on toilet paper. <laughs> well, maybe I do, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, so now... If I, could, if I could do Bert and Ernie, that totally would have Mr. Spoon and Mr. Fork. <laughs> hey, hey, Bert! Oh, hey there, Mr. Fork! Oh, hey there, oh, hey there. Hey, Mr. Fork! <laughs> hey, um, Mr. Mr. Spoon! Okay. <laughs> Mr. Spoon! Mr. Spoon. <laughs> That's okay, you got a good part. Please have your tickets oh, ready. I gotta buy a ticket. Alright. Jesus! Hey, no. Um, goods. Ticket. There we go. Alright, now we Thanks have... a lot. Please hurry the show. <laughs> now, I think... I think we have to watch the show again. <laughs> we accidentally watched it earlier. <laughs> Oh. And now we have to watch it again. So let's do it. Maybe. Oh, maybe I don't. Hold on. We'll see. I bet. Oh, you ah, you're a friend of the Runaway Five. Did you come to see Miss Venus? Come inside quickly. Don't let the other fans see you enter. Yeah. Oh, you want an oh. autograph? Oh. Okay, I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. Here you go. You can throw that away for me. <laughs> oh, and this is a bonus. Smack! Wait, did she kiss him or <laughs> yeah, punch him? Yeah, <laughs> kiss him or hit him. Uh, I'm just checking your lockers here. No, okay. All right, now we'll. S they, it may make me watch the. No, okay. Maybe since I already did it. It's letting me escape. Yes. Oh, there we go. Good. I, I like it, but we already watched it. So, <laughs> you know, I don't want to watch it again. Okay. Before you go, you should watch the show. <laughs> Did they stop you? <laughs> get, get back in here. Watch the show. There it no. Oh, museum is. Wait, Brian, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make me pay again, aren't you? The two you? lions. Grr. Dang it. <laughs> it's a... No, it's not okay with <laughs> it's me. It's a racket. <laughs> it's a racket. <laughs> Don't you have a stamp you can put on my hand or something? A bracelet. It's catching up. Sorry, oh. the, the video oh, is behind you. Um, you want to know about something extra on there? <laughs> oh, it's you again. Oh, okay. You Hold know, on. it's right, a new right. singer. Could you bring me an autograph? On a... Oh, I'm speaking to you again. <laughs> <laughs> Saying the same thing. The same thing. There we go. You got it. <laughs> That banana peel is an authentic Venus autograph. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Now for my promise. That'll tell you about something extra. Ordinary. This better be great, man. In the next room, <laughs> there is a light shining from far, far below the manhole. There, I found a huge... Monster rat! Oh. I'm not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you go there and check it out for yourself. Oh, this is. <laughs> so, this is our. This is actually our next sanctuary location. Oh, is it Yeah, um. What is the. Does the walkthrough recommend we do this first? Or. Uh. Uh. The, uh yes, it oh, does. Okay, well, let's do it then. Alright. Hopefully we're hopefully we're leveled up enough and we don't uh, run into trouble with the uh, oh we're gonna have to well if we need to level up we can go back out into the desert well I think we're gonna fight all these all these guys mm. here this will be fun uh, fire uh, what? I got some of these goods <laughs> you're fired um, slime generator. And I... yeah, all right. Yeah, we're we're down in the sewers now. Hopefully, we'll see some Ninja Turtles. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Rats. Speaking of Ninja Turtles, I, oh God. I keep seeing this. I've seen this a couple of times now. This this meme. It's not a meme. It was like, I guess it was an official, like, um, what's the panel from a, a, a comic. Yeah. Where um, it's like a crossover with Batman and the Ninja Turtles. Sure. And um, that happens. And in the panel, um, the Raphael is sort of standing behind Batman. And Batman's standing there looking all stoic. And he's and Batman says, um, he's like, this is where I watched my parents get murdered or whatever. And then <laughs> Raphael says, cow a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, heal Brian. Quickly. Oh, oh, good, 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 good. Thank you. Here you go, Brian. What we got in here? Oh, a croissant. So funny, though. I, I That's, just... I mean, <laughs> you can't, it's, it's one of those things like, that can't be real, but no, it's real. <laughs> they, uh, they've been doing a lot of, like, the, the Turtles, because they have an ongoing comic series right yeah. now, um, which is very dark actually it's it's like it's not like the old cartoon right that's the old comics weren't either but um they uh there's a fifth turtle now there's a sister oh cool um yeah that's cool and they're doing this on the ongoing yeah yeah i'm pretty sure shredder's dead um but like they're doing this ongoing thing and uh but they've been doing a lot of crossovers so the company that owns the rights to publish turtles comics yeah. Also owns the rights to publish Transformers, Ghostbusters, and a handful of other stuff. And they've crossed all that stuff over. Hmm. Huh. So you can go see Ghostbusters and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles together in a comic. <laughs> or Transformers and Ghostbusters, Transformers and Turtles. Like, it's, it's actually kind of cool. Oh, they also do G.I. Joe. Oh, cool. So I'm pretty sure that's been crossed Yeah, over. that's really neat. Yeah. Um, is... Uh, what's the female turtle's name? Is it like Marie Curie or something? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of it. Oh, is it? Oh, is it um, no, wait. Uh, what's her name? Um, gosh. Uh, it's Venus de Milo. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. I believe oh, so. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I was trying to think of like a, a female artist. What was the. Because that was. That was. That was. She was. No, that can't be her. Is it? Uh, they call her Jenica, but I. I... Oh, I'm trying to think of the. Who. Um, I am at a loss of what this one artist is called. Um, she's the one who had the the unibrow, <laughs> and she painted those all those pictures. Uh -huh. of her. God, what is her name? This is gonna this is gonna kill me. Okay. Oh, okay. So here it is. No, I'm sorry. So. Venus de Milo is the original one from the old Ninja Turtles, The Next Mutation. Ignore that. In the comic, her name is Jenica. She's actually Splinter's second-in-command. And um, Karai, Splinter's daughter, or Splinter, Shredder's daughter, stabs her um, uh, with, with her blade. And because they, they, they're trying to find a way to, like, save Jenica, she... Uh, the turtles do a, a blood transfusion, which actually mutates her into a mutant turtle. Hmm. Interesting. So she was a human turned into a turtle. Wow, that's that's really interesting. <laughs> that's in, that, that is really interesting. Yeah. I see. I gotta read this stuff, man. <laughs> I, I I see random bits of information. And I'm like, this is so cool. All right, it's killing me. Please look up female artist with unibrow it's kept you know artist with unibrow yes it's killing me um you mean frida yes frida, frida Kahlo. Kahlo. that's what i was i was gonna say maybe her name's frida Kahlo because she's like a you know because they're all michelangelo donatello yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. no in the old in the old where i was trying the, to go the, with that so <laughs> years ago there was the original cartoon right and then the cartoon turned into a live action show. Mm -hmm. And when they did that, they introduced Venus de Milo, which was the sister. And incidentally, that was the show that had an episode that crossed over with Power Rangers, uh, uh, space something, Lost in Space, Space Force. Uh -huh. I don't know. 
Um, but like they added like a crossover with, with Power Rangers. Because why not? <laughs> no, why not? <laughs> Stinky ghost. Stinky ghost. I love this. Uh, oh, you know something. Um, something interesting was brought to my attention. My brother, he's been watching these videos and he commented. Um, the so like the sort of the psychedelic like shapes and movements going on in the back. Uh huh. Those are actually. Those are actually all what 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 he claimed was they're they're all previously like they're all predetermined by whatever the the enemy is, and if there's more than one enemy, then it it mixes the two together. So it, like it layers them on top of each other. So like whatever. Really? Yeah. So like you'll see, like it'll get even more crazy when there's like two enemies there because it's those two there. Now these guys are the same. Um, but I think it's I think it's a little more layered than it was the first time. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, I thought that was so cool. I was like, that's something I did not know about this game. <laughs> you know, I, lo I I know a lot about this game and like just the how it works and parts of it, but I did not know that. I just thought that was neat. Uh, let's do. Let's do. You know, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossed over with Garfield. <laughs> really? He dressed up as a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and called himself Garfello. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> he tried to convince them to go out and crime fight so he would stay and guard the pizzas. <laughs> I was going to say, did he try to convince them that, like, hey, guys, lasagna's where it's at? <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> Lasagna, it's just like layers of pizza. <laughs> I can I can see it now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's exactly what you imagine. Oh, speaking of pizza, we just got a large pizza. Ooh. Mm. Tasty. <laughs> Cheesy. Okay, we're gonna go back. <laughs> we're gonna go back. This around. Let's see here. A rust promoter. Ooh, okay. Um, who's got that? Okay, Matt's got it. Good. So if we run into a robot of some kind. Ooh, yes. Okay, this is our... This is our room to... Uh... Get all our PP pee -pee back. Let's see. Okay, Taylor's good. Okay, Danny needs life. Matt's good. Okay, so just Danny needs some life here. There we go. And we'll refresh this butterfly here. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. 31, 66. Okay, we're good to go. All right, hopefully, hopefully I do better on this this guy than the mushroom. <laughs> I believe that in was you. terrible. No, I'm sorry. I'm reading about all the crossovers that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have done. It's insane how many things they've crossed over with over the years. I mean, it's just like in general. Yeah, it's just such a campy idea to first well, off and then yeah, yeah like doing all these crossovers of course yeah no this is like okay from the original onset okay the, the original turtles comic before there was a cartoon um they crossed over with uh uh cerebus which was an old indie comic from the 80s mm -hmm. uh they crossed over with um um Usagi Yojimbo, which he showed up in their their, their cartoon a lot too. He crossed over with the original Mystery Men, Carrot Face. Oh. Or sorry, Flaming <clears throat> Carrot is what he's called, the Flaming Carrot. They crossed over with uh, Savage Dragon. Is is uh, Mystery Men? Is that what um, inspired the the movie? 
Yeah, there's an indie comic that, that it was based on, and it's actually, it's, the comic is, like, the movie is definitely a Hollywood version of the comic. <laughs> sure. Uh, this is the crossover with Savage Dragon, the crossover with Mars Attacks, they crossed over with a comic called Gen 13, they crossed over with Archie. <laughs> Oh, and apparently Archie crossed over with the Punisher once. That's weird. Oh, yes, the broken bazooka. Yes. Ooh. Once I fix that, then that's like the only weapon I use for Matt is the, uh, is oh, the bazooka. They were in an issue of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> of course they were. <laughs> there was Garfield. <laughs> the, the Garfield one kills me. <laughs> Power Rangers in space. I'll have to show that to you. Later. <laughs> that just sounds great. Uh, okay. the uh, let's see. They crossed over with themselves and a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode called Turtles Forever. And then they did it again in their uh, CGI cartoon. Is it really a crossover? <laughs> if you cross over with yourself. It was multiple turtle shows crossing over. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, and then the comic company IDW had a big storyline that it called Infestation. A zombie virus was spreading around an interdimensional level, so it tied together the following comics. Zombies vs. Robots, Star Trek, Transformers, Ghostbusters, and G.I. Joe. A year later, they did Infestation 2, which was Transformers, Dungeons & Dragons, G.I. Joe, 30 Days of Night, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hmm. And then later they would do a Turtles Ghostbusters strict crossover. Then they would do the Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja. They did like four Batman <laughs> Turtles crossovers. Cow a bummer. Cow a bummer. <laughs> and then of course Michelangelo shows up in uh, the Lego movie. Of course. Uh, wait, do I have? No. Okay, let's just do freeze. There we go. I gotta fight these. I'm almost there. I gotta fight these these mice here, and then. And then he's right right after them. So fingers crossed. Oh, well, I believe in you. <laughs> Unless you fail. In which case I never believe in you. <laughs> in which case I called it. <laughs> I told you so. <laughs> Way to suck, dude. <laughs> well, hopefully I this was your Hopefully channel. he won't he won't do a weird status effect on me like the other, like the mushroom did. That really screwed me. Oh, you want to talk about screwy status effects? I got a story okay. for you, but go ahead and... Uh, you finally got here. This is the fifth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Okay. <laughs> it's the plague rat. <laughs> uh, give me one second. Ho no, hold on, one second. And we're back. Sorry about that, folks. I had to take care of something real quick. But now we're gonna we're gonna take on the plague rat. <laughs> and I just want to remind you, yes. you haven't saved since before you came down here. Okay, but this game works a little differently. It just means. <laughs> so don't die. I think I'll, that's where I'll I'm end sad. up. But I think it it, it oh, saves okay. the progress. But I think you. Well. Yeah, yeah. Unless I turn off the game, I wouldn't actually lose uh -huh. progress. I would lose. Oh, I would okay. lose, uh, I guess, physical progress, like where I am. I think. I oh, think. Okay. So yeah, last time I called my, I don't even know when I called my dad last time. So. Okay, so let's put it to the test. <laughs> let's let's hope I don't die. Um, let's see. What do I? So while you do this, I want to tell you about a crappy status. Okay, event. tell me, tell me. Uh, so one of my favorite games to play is the Fallout series. And I'm currently still playing Fallout 4 because even though I've beaten it, I'm just going through and doing all I can do because it's fun. <clears throat> and uh, there's this one particular side quest or mission that you can do. It's in a vault, which these vaults, these underground vaults, are people survive with the way, you know, the, the nuclear holocaust. Uh, but, like, there's, like, a secret vault attached to the vault. But it's been overrun by these mole rats. These, like, radiated mole rats. And, uh... If and this is the only place in the entire game this can happen, if one of the mole rats bites you during combat, you gain a permanent uh, status effect of a it's it's like a mole rat curse or something, and it's minus ten to your HP. 
there is only one way to cure it and it's the cure you go in there to find and if you happen to get that cure and take it yourself you can't give it to the kid that's dying oh no so it's you, you either save the kid that's dying or you give it to yourself to get rid of a minus 10 to your hp oh that's terrible uh oh, uh -oh. It's, just, it's just like a dumb status effect that you can't get rid of anywhere else what danny no by the time I think I'm healer, 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 I, I healer. <laughs> that's okay. I have stuff to bring her back to life, so that's good. Okay, let's do. It was all on Danny. <laughs> Shoot, I can't yawn that one. Out. Yeah, Sorry. what? But it was all on Danny. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I think I just need to shoot him. Oh wait, no, I have like a bomb, don't I? Yeah, I used the on Danny. Go. Use, yeah, yeah. Use the bomb on Danny. Okay. There we go. Here we go. We're doing we're doing pretty good actually, except for Danny dying, but that's okay. We're actually doing really well. Um, is she getting all? No, she did not get her life back. <laughs> that rat just looks. I just love his face. Um, <laughs> I'm carrying the plague. <laughs> Um, I'm a fan of your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Is she at home? <laughs> Is she at home? Uh, <laughs> can she come out and play? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I, that was such a better showing than the <laughs> than the mushroom. Thank oh, God. Oh God, yes. Oh, awesome. Sanctuary. Yes. This is what the fifth one out of eight. I think so. Of, yeah, uh, eight. So Doing great. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's whatever this is. Huh? What's happening? Uh, it's it's playing the tune and. Uh. Taylor saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. But just, just what? he just saw it. Just, every time you go to a sanctuary, it like, it yeah. like, Taylor gets like a flash of something. So like, so like of his Ooh. mom when he was a kid, or like, oh he's he got a whiff of pizza. It's his favorite food, you know, like that kind of stuff. So gotcha. he saw a baby bottle. You know, it's like reminding of his like when he was a child or something. Well, he's a child now, but when he was a baby. There we go. Of Magnet Hill. Let's open the notes in the chest. Whoa! The carrot key! Oh, Ooh. I know what to do with the carrot key. Okay, let's... Um, Put it in the carrot? <laughs> uh, let's listen to the melody now. And see. Listen Here we go. The melody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> scratch <laughs> record scratch oh my god well, that's awesome all right hey thanks everybody for joining us that was this is a perfect place to stop <clears throat> we'll do some more of this uh next time don't forget to like and subscribe i'm taylor this is matt i was and me. goodbye <laughs>